Welcome back to the Shining in the Darkness, picking up in the town. After the previous video, the first one, you guys gave me a lot of useful information. Thank you, Rico. When it comes to the items, let's go in here, lower the volume for myself because it's very loud. As for the items, low tier healing, the poisons, of course, the poison. Angel Feather, apparently it gets you out of the dungeon. I might actually invest in that, but I don't have the money right now. There's a Wisdom Seed, Wisdom Seed, Wisdom Seed. I have no idea what it does. Healer Fruit is a higher tier healing, and Smelling Souls is the Paralysis. Good. And there's something also for the weapon store. I don't know... No, not a tavern. Let's go to the armorer because there's also a valuable information for this guy. Buy. Weapons. Apparently those weapons are offhand weapons. Not to be used as uh, instead of the main weapon, but offhand instead of a shield. Uh, which grants you both attack power and some, some defense power. Uh, can I do something else for you? Yes, please. Yes, I think we can do that in, also in here. Armor. This isn't all I have, you know. That's the that, that's keyword here. So if we cancel out of this. And he asks us, want to see something else? So the next page, basically. There's, yay, there's bronze armor here. I, I would have probably missed that. I was wondering after the, um, the first visit, why he is asking us twice when we are leaving. Same ap applies to, to this guy. Don't want that, we want this, yeah, a longsword 2500, and also apparently the weaponsmith here is a dwarf from the golden axe, and there's also a blue potion which indicates that this is a golden axe reference. I have not played golden axe at all, maybe very little as a kid, so I, I wouldn't know. Anywho, back to grinding we go. Here we can, we can skip that, my eyes. Now, enable map. I will not forget. Bum, bum, bum. I think there's only one path that we can take. This was a dead end. Maybe I shouldn't go there just yet until I get the escape wings. But I can always reload. Fly me ours. One down. I'm not taking any damage. That is good. I don't think I've checked how much experience I need for the next level, but we will get there very soon. <laughs> I think to the left it was also a dead end. Pit worms. We struggled with one of them. One point of damage, okay, I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, we are OP. Sort of gets insta critted and dies. It's, it's not not that bad. Oh come on, why is the first hit always the mi minimum? It's not like you could attack the same worm and kill it, you know? Thank you. Oh, they give triple experience. Dark. Jelly. Much are you worth? Three as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, th those fights will, will be the tedious ones. <laughs> Just spam click. Perfect, perfect. Oh, okay. We've been here, so yeah, this is the only path. Also, if you if you looked at the minimap when we entered the dungeon here or in the previous episode, you could see some corner numbers uh, around the map. This is basically the um, defined level size, I guess. 
so we can briefly tell how big a dungeon level is. From what I see, it's 30, 32 by 32 tiles. Wow, the man I gives almost no no goodies, no experience. Yikes. Discover discover herb. Oh, wait, I'm not on bulldozer mode. Oh my god. Where's that? Here it is. It keeps on disabling itself every time. It's nice how it's nice how they were actually making the animations here, and the the idle animation that those guys are briefly like uh, what's the word here I'd use like flinting, it's very very slight movement. Um, also, because we get red flashes when we bump the wall, it makes me believe that there might be secrets somewhere. Oh, three uses. Yeah, they're. Just slightly moving left and right, like one, two pixels to the side. That's that's a nice touch. And the funny attack animation that the, it, it splits, uh, flips the sprite a couple times. That's cool. Very cool way to reduce memory usage. It's not really matter, does it? The only thing that matters in this encounter is to first take care of the. Uh, slime uses as they will always take single hit now to, to be defeated so less waiting time for the enemy to, to, to act hey level up in 7 what is that hit points I think hit points very cool 4 attack power Of course, since I have a minimap, I want to explore the whole thing. Wait, did, didn't we get like four attack power? Would that mean we would strike for five? Oh, I got no damage. Can I just hold down the button? Wait, can I speed up the end game tag somehow? And no damage, what? Yeah, I can hold down the button, that's good. And once again, the AI decides to attack different, um, different enemies. Yay, again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Also, I really wonder when the game will become really, really tedious. Uh, I know. No! Misclicked! <laughs> How did I do that? Never mind, we have one. I don't need to heal just yet. So, giving me spray to enemy groups. Uh, we will probably have some AOE attacks and group uh, on, on specific group. So having them separate will make it also um, terrible, tedious, prolong the encounter. So what we get every encounter every like five steps on average. If we w won't run away from any of them, it will be. It will get re uh, old really quickly and annoying. But if we will also want to run, we will be probably on, on the proper level. And proper power level. Nice. Finally, we went first. Uh, yeah. Items. Use three herbs. Good. Plus 26 hit points. It's not like it's a full heal, right? Nice. Since they give three experience APs, that also means we should level really, really quick. 
Nice, awesome blow. See, that's how it's done. I wonder... I think... That the pool of water will deter... This looks weird. That the pool of water will de determine that the new enemies lie ahead. This is... For a uh, two damage, okay. Not, not bad, not bad. Two damage, okay. Two points, all right, still... We can survive. Also, three experience APs. Our jellies deal only single point of damage. If any. Damage. I think we should be at around level 5 here. Maybe I went too quickly. Okay, we can still one-shot them. No damage. Mm -hmm. So one level up and we should be able to always one hit. If we actually manage to hit like that. Oh, come on, give me level. Oh. Very nothing. Item use. I don't have anything to use here. I... I don't know. Okay, there's a point of interest there. I uh, know. No, 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 no. Fall back, fall back. Killer B. Yeah. Sounds bad. Points of damage, okay. So since it is AB... I have a feeling that it will po try to poison me. Come on, go me! Go me! God. As I said, I might, I might be done for. I still have two healing potions, so hopefully, hopefully we can just retreat. Depends on how often will I take poison damage, and if I'm poisoned outside of, of the battle. It didn't seem to affect me inside the, uh, the battle itself, so there's a high chance it will affect me when moving outside. Plus, some of the games hit you every couple steps, some of the games hit you every step you take. Woo! Nine hit points! Some more IQ! Perfect. So how is it here? One. Okay, not too sh not too mad. <sighs> grumble, grumble. Good, 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 good. Uh, I should definitely heal. So now I know. They need at least one angel wing and one to deep poison. The rest can probably be... Oh, okay. It's very reasonable. Nice. Haha, <laughs> caught them by surprise. 15 points of damage. Nice, nice, nice. So one deep poison, one angel wing, because... Going back is already very tedious. And wait until I get a second character. Because fighting one versus three is annoying. Takes me back to the days of Dragon Warrior on the NES. The chapters that you had single hero and the enemies could spawn up to, I don't know, four or five of them. Hmm. Oh, I'm poisoned? I know I'm poisoned. 
Will I take more damage? Will I take damage more often? I doubt. Single encounter with three of those is a killer <laughs> indeed. Because they can deal a lot of damage. Almost. Yeah, they can deal like nine damage per turn. Yikes, 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 yikes. I think it's time to run away from every other encounter. Especially from those that will have more enemies. Not one or two. Ah, this is doable. Those guys should not be able to hit me. Maybe rarely. Maybe. Because they still give experience, they still, still give gold. How are we on gold anyway? Status. 200 only. We started with 200. So the grind will be extremely slow. That's still six. Um, six gold pieces. And yay for a three experience. out like three more encounters so we cannot afford anything right we could theoretically buy a helm uh, the downside I see with buying a helm is uh, limited inventory space we have I believe we do have only eight inventory space I might ch check it out so a helmet will reduce the damage we take but also limit our carrying capacity Which is also interesting. It's not like you are still carrying that in your backpack or in your hands. Like imagine having um, helmet, shield, sword, chest plate, four pieces of equipment, and carry mm, and carry four herbs in in a bag. Or you just can, and you're or, or you're just able to carry eight pieces of herbs in your bag, and that's it. It's not like you equip that. I really believe that equipment should be its, should be its own uh, item slot. What can you do? Those were the old days, the old times. I'm trying to think when did when did they did that for the first time. I haven't played the early Ultima sort of Wizardry game, so I don't know if it worked there. And on NES, I think every game I played, you you had shared your inv item inventory space with equipped items. And then on Amiga, we had Eye of the Beholder. It had its own ragdoll thing. That was, I think, the first time I've seen it. Hmm. Come on, we are almost out. And almost out of hit points. See, they, they are slowly chewing on me. One more? No. We are free. I wonder, can the shrine depoison me? Well, wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I sense that Mael is in, in the grip of a powerful venom. I will free Mael from the effects of the poison. A contribution of five gold, sure. Still cheaper than a... Uh, a cool, cool sound effect. Still cheaper than buying antidote. 14 experience points till the next level. I would like to continue, thank you. Alchemist. So 
So I would like... An angel feather. Yes. That's four items. The poison. That is six items. Uh, let me do a quick save here. Because I'm curious if we have eight carrying capacity or more. That's eight. No, oh, we have more. I think we are now at eight. At limit. Uh, I don't want to take another look. Wait, wrong button. Uh, items use. Yeah, we only have eight carrying capacity. Probably we'll get eight. Of course, we'll get eight per person, right? Let's enter. What? And the music got louder in here. <laughs> They don't say anything different. Oh, somebody's missing here. Lived with me since they lost their parents. It, it pains me to see Diane worry about. Yep. Diana has been summoned. Okay. Let's take your rest and go to the castle. Also, it kind of sucks that you cannot just go. I should have disabled the map. Uh, it kind of sucks that. You cannot go to the castle to, to rest at the nice quarters or something. Make it free. In Theos, yeah, 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 yeah. Blood of the Age, yeah. Min Minister. Tristan. Okay, so they don't know about anyone here. Alright. It's actually not a fight that I want to take anymore. A single one? Sure. Because it will take as long as... Uh, us to escape. Three of them? Ah. Come on. Mm. Let me see about two. So I would like to find something important that would lead us to... Uh, that would tell us, yeah, you, you found something, now go back to town. Oh man, no, no. Because currently it's, it's like a combat simula simulator, or hold down the button simulator. Oops, a chest at the end, okay. And at the end of this corridor, we turn right, and then we turn right again. That will be new place to explore. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I guess. So, this is a pretty straightforward dungeon from what I see. We just take single path and, and, and move forward with some side paths just to mess with player what I would want to see is being able to access any other floor directly from from the dungeon from the labyrinth entrance like a shortcut I don't know if that's a thing but definitely the game is not one uh, one level deep hopefully 
the Inkhau po Okay, seeing how many items we can purchase, definitely that should not be the case. So, one level and those guys should be only able to deal a single point of damage. We still need to worry about killer bees. Yay! 8 hit points, nice. Attack 4, defense 1. Yeah, we are more of a power, uh, more, of a, more of a fighter rather than a tank. I would expect the second person to be a cleric and the third a mage. But maybe it's the offense that matters. Yay! Also, we are nearing to 20-ish uh, points of damage. We are at 1516 now. Right? Another dead end. No. I will be really annoyed if there would be like several tiles away from a forest return to town. I bet that the, the thing that we found is a way down into the dungeon, uh, deeper into the dungeon. But we need to find a key to unlock it or something. Oh, come on. One more. Yay for killer bees. Can I go first, please? Thank you. the northern path. I think it's always better to keep a hold to a single wall. Maybe the wisdom seed is actually something that helps me avoid encounters, or maybe it restores magic points. That sounds like something to restore the magic points. Oh no. Potential poison? Good. But he will definitely have a, another go. Oh, good, 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 good. Well, let's say that it. So it was a good choice to go in, in in this part of the dungeon. I felt like we haven't explored almost anything today. All of this backtracking is kind of, you know. We'll see. We'll see how it will be deeper in the dungeon. Okay, single path that we can take. step random encounter what game was it i think ghost lps was playing something with random encounters it might have been wizard 36 that he finished that finished an encounter and got a, another one straight away without moving no okay okay there's a heart up here oh it's enough just to turn around oh my god I would love to get another level, then I would use a herb and take this one straight away. Uh, 
So we need to look at the bright side. We exited the dungeon with 250 um, gold. We are at 378. So we are making the good profit now. Yay, we are maxed out. The game giving, giving us a herb might be an indication that there is a harder fight up ahead. Let's see about that. <laughs> plus 7 hit points. That's fine. Plus 4 attack, plus 1 defense. Yeah, I guess. Also, I think I should go for... Turn right to clear this path. I think I should go for more armor for myself rather than a uh, better weapon because... Most of the times we are one-shotting everything here. Plus, we get higher amount of attack per level than defense. But then again, they should be hitting me for one, maybe rarely for two points of damage. Yeah, just one. Oh, hello. I would like to take your stone maze, please. Maybe this is an indicator. Hey, there's a boss ahead. Mm -hmm. Of course, no, no damage, no damage. Are we still using the bronze dagger, the bronze knife? I think we are. Maybe I should change that weapon. No. Why cannot I open it? Do I need a key? Equip, give, drop, equip. I don't have anything. So I found two random things here. I cannot interact with any of them. Come on, let me find something new. Or another dead end. I see that there's a turn up ahead to the, to the left. Further to the left. I think that is a boss. Kaiser Crab. Ah, <laughs> uh, we might be boned. Maybe we are probably too weak. Uh, I will heal first, then I will try to escape. Yeah. Run away! I really hope we can escape 15 points of damage. <laughs> An awesome blow. You are dead. A Valkyrie delivers the remains of Mael to the shrine. I summon four of the soul of Mael. Ah, good. You live to fight another day. Please be more careful. You're our only hope against the darkness. So what did we lose? We lost half of our money. That is bad. Yeah. Still, it's... Oh, the map is still showing me in the dungeon. Good. Still, it, I don't know. It's not worth reloading because all of the experience. We are still uh, benefiting from from this. No. I think we are still wearing the basic cloth uh, weaponry. Interest. Yeah. I. Armor. Oh, we are wearing the wolf woven. It seems I need to grind. Armor. Tavern. 
and weapon stop the uh, shop. <laughs> Let's say stop for us. We are using the bronze knife. I might want to save up to a short axe or bronze saber. I sell something. Yeah, I cannot afford that. Uh, yeah. Sell. Twenty-five gold. So you sell for uh, seventy-five percent of of the items worth. Huh. All right. Well then, if that's the case, I will go ahead and call it here. It was a rather terrible end of, of our adventures today. But in the next, I will go further to, to the dungeon because there are still one or two paths that I have not taken. And I need to uh, prepare for the Kaiser Crab. Anywho, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.